So today I'm going to talk about self-love and why it's so essential for anybody who's looking to go into business, online business specifically, because this is where we're moving towards. Okay, gone are the days of having like physical um, presence, although that's needed, but most people want uh, a free lifestyle to be able to travel and what's called as a laptop lifestyle. So in terms of becoming an entrepreneur, self-love is so key, it's so essential. So thank you for most for joining me, Chico, on our Self Developers YouTube channel. It's always a pleasure. Again, do comment, share, press like for like, and also just know that sharing is caring, sharing is loving, uh, as I always say. And I'm always happy to connect with anybody who's got any specific comments. So I uh, just uh, thought that before um, I left my environment today, I'm checking in from like a hotel that I've been in after going to um, seminars and also being by inspired by women who've gone through um, so many adversities in their life. And interestingly enough, the topic was, um, the heading of one of the um, seminars was about the best of you. So I just think it um, aligns nicely with self-love. So self-love for me, what it means is um, coming to terms with uh, who you are right now, today. Okay, being able to recognize that you are loved even if it's by one or two people, and then also looking internally within you to think about, do you have self-love and self-appreciation for yourself? Because the best thing I've ever heard is, if we can't love ourselves, then who is going to be able to love us? Okay, so starting with self-love, it helps because then that molds the type of relationships that you can potentially have in terms of having healthy relationships is thinking about partners you know potential future partners as in boyfriends um husbands but then also thinking about so i'm directing this to women <laughs> i've just realized that and it's also thinking about um self-love in the emotional so this relates to um I, I believe the lesson has come through for women because in my mind for some reason I had women but doesn't necessarily exclude anybody else because everybody needs some um, self-love so self-love is about also history you know what history and self-limiting beliefs have you grown up with and have you been able to let those go okay so what I mean by that is um, if you never heard Lo if you never heard loving words or you were never hugged have you come to terms with that or are you living through like a repetitive story of where you're not able to extend your love to anybody else and how can you begin to actually overcome what were your self-limiting beliefs it doesn't mean that just due to you having um, that impact in the past that you can't extend um, a new outlook in life and be able to as an adult adapt to the life that you want so it is so essential for you um, in terms of um, self-love to live life according to your own terms why it's so essential is that most people come into this world and then um, they live with regret they live with the I can't and they live with I don't like myself and then the last we hear is that there's been a death and that person is buried with their stories. Okay, so why I'm saying it's so essential is that we all have a key message to share. So when we have that self-love for ourselves to recognize that, yes, the past has happened. Now this is the current state. This is where we are. There are ways of moving beyond um, the self-limiting beliefs that you may have adopted. This also includes to finances as well Because that's another area that impacts people is that finances We hear money doesn't go on trees or there's not enough money or there's plenty of it But what impact has it had on you and how can you start to utilize? Um, finances as a vehicle not only to just indulge with the self but to think about, yes, I have self-love and what I have right now is sufficient, but how can I use 
my financial resources to actually establish or invest in myself in a way that um, it propels you to have the life that you've always wanted. Okay, so that means that you're not con continuously running into debt because you've spent um, either, you know, overindulging in terms of like makeup, clothes, and then um, food or the luxuries, but then in the end, you're still feeling empty internally. You know, and you're feeling like, okay, so I have all these things around me, but nothing is changing. Okay, so all these things that happen that may be self-destructive uh, because the work internally hasn't, be, uh, hasn't taken shape yet.